G'day mate, Aaron here from Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns taking you through a virtual tour on our 2020 Canon X GWM Ute. Mate, quickly before we get started, just a tour here of our yard up in Cairns. Um, if you haven't been here before, look, we're stocking over 200 cars at the moment. Um, we've got another yard as well, just up the other end of Mulgrave Road there. We've got our new car showroom and Lexus showroom up the top there, and then parts and services tucked in behind there as well. Mate, it's had a bit of a uh, break into weather this morning, so um, get the video knocked out for you, um, just so you can you can see the, the car in its uh, full potential. Um, mate, so I'm gonna go throughout the car inside and out for you, showing you any little scratch marks, features and that as well. And uh, yeah, just showing you a little bit more of a, a better look at the vehicle rather than just the photos. So come down the front here, we've got a nice steel bull bar, uh, max four by four accessories um, on that one. So. Nice matte finish as well um, on the bull bar. Come around the side of the car, so along the guards here, really, really nice there. A little, oh, just a little bit of a mark there, but um, probably just come out with a, a, with a wash. Vehicles will get a full detail anyway upon delivery, so um, not too fussed about any little, little bits of dirt if there is any. Um, but as you can see, the bonnet's really, really nice and clean. No big scratches or dings or anything like that. Tiny, tiny little probably stone chip just there, something like that. Um, as you can see, your big alloy rims and tires there as well. And you've also got your uh, formula suspension underneath there as well. Looks like some aftermarket upper control arms there as well. Up on the windscreen, really, really nice up there. No chips or cracks or anything like that. Jump up on the roof and show you there quickly. So you can see up there, just have a look there. We've got the tent and the solar panel on the, uh, on the canopy as well. All right, so head down the side of the car. So factory side steps and everything. Um, as you can see, the doors here are really nice and clean all the way along there fuel fill up there as well um, as you can see the canopy um, on the tray so really nice big canopy You've got your dashi tent there up the top um, canopies all jack off there as well so obviously under the lock pull out the latches on all four you can jack it off with the the two holes here um, you can see the suspension up under there again as well so you've got some heavier springs in there to compensate for a little bit of the weight but um, nice rims and tires again you can see up under there, just head around the back. So you've got opens at the back and the two sides. Um, so all three of them open. Obviously you've got your rear step here as well. Tow bar and everything in there, as well as your flat pin plug and the Anderson plug there for any extra power. Reverse camera mounted up under there as well. All right, head around the other side here. Alrighty, just grab some keys and uh, have a look through the inside. Uh, so got your spares and everything on here as well. Obviously some canopy uh, key locks and uh, the uh, locks there that are holding the canopy down as well. All right, just open him up. Uh, we'll go throughout the canopy as well, but uh, I'll take you through the inside. As you can see the inside here, really, really nice interior. Obviously you've got all your leather trims and everything like that. Window switches, um, door locks up the top there. All your mirror and uh, other switches and controls just here as well. Got your electric seats and everything there, but full leather all throughout. Nice big screen display there. I'll just jump on in and uh, start him up for you as well. So, uh, four on the brake, and then you've just got your power button just here. Just turn that down. Alrighty. Um, so, it's just coming up low fuel there. Um, obviously, got low fuel. But uh, as you can see, just on the left there, 51,000 Ks. I'll try to get rid of the sun blur there for you. Uh, but no engine lights, warning lights, anything like that. 
full LED display in the screen there as well. Um, look, all your volume controls, your skip channel and everything on the left here. Hang up, answer phone calls. You've got your radar cruise there as well. And then your other cruise control settings. Um, we will see your horn in the middle there. Come across the middle, we've got nice big display screen. So all your home options and everything are all there. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto um, can go through all that. Then we've got the media as well. Obviously full radio set up there as well. Volume controls there on the steering wheel and then also in the bottom here as well. Voice assist, heaps and heaps of features on um, the this one here. So going to your aircon settings as well. Your aircon controls are on here as well. And your aircon controls are all down here also. So you can get them on the screen and down in the bottom here too. So cooler and, and warmer there. Obviously the screen changes. Um, then you've got your fan speed over the right hand side. Rear diff lock here as well. Parking sensors there, traction control, and then your hill descent control on the left here as well. Got uh, heated seats there as well. Couple USBs, um, 12 volt sockets set there. Socket set, socket outlet, <laughs> my apologies. Got our four low um, setting just here. Obviously our auto, um, go through your gears, just this one here, in and then reverse. Um, and then your, your camera pops up there on your uh, screen as well. Um, and then just the button in on the right and then just back to neutral. Um, and then drive is down the bottom. And then park, just click in the park button. Got our eco mode, um, traction mode there as well. So we can go through our three different modes as you can see in there. Eco mode selected. And then we've got a sports mode selected as well. So sports modes on the left, eco mode, and then just our normal drive mode, standard mode there. Park brake just here as well. So you go in and out drive, reverse gears, park brake on and off there. Um, but as you can see, really, really nice in here. Um, show you up on the roof as well and in the back. All right, I will jump out. We'll go through the canopy setup as well as well as the uh, rear seats there too, so. We'll look in the back, just pop these keys in my pocket. In the back, uh, pretty much quite similar to the same, so uh, similar to the front, sorry. Um, got your tow bar down the bottom there as well. We just leave those out just in case. Some people do like to nick them of a night time, so. As you can see inside the rear, really, really nice. Aircon controls in the back there as well. Um, got your aircon vents there. But uh, yeah, that's the rear. Um, all right, so open up the canopy. Just got the that one already opened up. A bit tricky to do it with uh, one hand, but cutting it fine at the back there. Uh, um, mates, look down the right hand side here. You've just got all your shelves side of things. Someone's obviously put some shelves and everything in there as well. You've got some poles for your tent um, up the top there as well. But yeah, just a bit of storage um, in regards to that. You know, we'll just have to check if these are unlocked. There we go. So we can get down the back there in the middle as well. Um, we've got our inverter and all our. Um, your battery set up and everything behind there with the fridge and everything so um, that's what powers powers all that side up obviously you can fit a few things up and down here if needs be um, but we'll get into the right hand side here so um look he's put some uh, obviously the last owners put some drawers on that side things in here just a little I guess hatches and everything like that. Um, look, I don't know why, I don't know what, what what exactly it was used for, but obviously storage side of things there. Um, little vents there for up the top as well. Um, and then obviously you got your fridge over the left-hand side here as well. So little fridge there, um, obviously it's off at the moment. Um, look, cabin lights and everything there, all your, all your other side of things there, um, fridge, DC power charger there as well from Enerdrive, um, to DC 20 DC. Um, so look, it's good for good for all your dual battery systems. Obviously, you got the 
12 volt to, to 40 there um, and a king's inverter um, as well there so look plenty of i guess set up in the back here um, but as you can see it all opened up there all right um look that's pretty much uh gonna conclude our virtual tour um on our gwm ute mate if you have any other questions let me know feel free to free to reach out but uh awesome hope you enjoyed thanks for watching